Elementary school children exposed to dangerous amounts of lead. High levels found in water at Imperial Beach Charter School's West Campus. And this comes after other San Diego County schools have already shut off their faucets. Our tenders reporter Jennifer De La Cruz is here with how the administration is handling this. Jen. Well, if it weren't for water bottles, students at this school would have no safe water to drink. The results came back positive for lead on Monday, but students may have been drinking contaminated water here all year long. Ivy Charter West is the latest in a string of schools with dangerous amounts of lead in the water. Administration telling students not to take a sip. There's lead in the water and they don't know if it's safe to drink. Amelia and Madeline Flynn go to school nearby. Many of those pipes are the same though, so faculty isn't taking any chances there either. They are handing out water bottles because they are testing the water. Wednesday night, Ivy Charter West sent out a letter to parents about the problem. It's similar to ones handed out at other lead infested schools in Poway and San Diego school districts since January. But is it too late? We drink the water every day at that school and we don't know how long it's been there. We use it about three times a day. Through the whole school year, three times a day. When I go up and down the hallways, I see lines to the water fountain. The school has taken precautions. They put trash bags over the water fountains and everything. But the same lead water running through the fountains is also found in the bathroom sink. I don't like washing my hands, but I have to because either way you'll get sick. South Bay School District is still waiting on results from other schools. Until then, they'll keep handing out bottles. San Diego Unified Schools waiting on results for about more than two dozen schools. South Bay Unified also waiting on more results before they can determine any of their long-term plans. Reporting live in Imperial Beach, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News. We'll wait for those results. Thank you, Jennifer. Imperial Beach residents have been dealing with a lot of water issues this year. The 200 million gallons of sewage that spilled from Mexico back in February continues to contaminate water in the South Bay, and beaches have been closed for months. Earlier this month, Imperial Beach Mayor Serge Dedina said additional pipes will now be built on the U.S. side to divert sewage water.